Rosie and I are gonna take a quick trip out to the pond today. See if we can do a one fly challenge. So today's challenge is a black mamba, which is a pretty new fly for me. Uh, if you haven't seen it, check out the tying video for that. We'll see how well it does today. Looks like we got some geese. Just barely got here. Apparently there's fish in here. Oh, he got off. Damn it. Had him. Looks like I lost him right there. Fly is in the weed. Had him. Guess that's what you get with barbless hooks. Pretty sure this isn't gonna work out very well.
Still in the game. It's too bad because that was a damn nice fish. I lost right there. them again lost them again hook seems fun must just be me Super nice fish. Just can't keep them on the line. This is uh, only a three weight pole with a 5X, might be a 4X tippet, but it's not a real, not a real heavy line. So trying to lift the fish like that up here is a little bit rough. fish up here I'm never getting that fish up here so just get a look at it down there <laughs> fish might be worth getting in the water for. Keep some pressure on it. Dude, this fish might be worth getting in the water for. <laughs> I'm not sure how I'm going to land it. My, uh, that's, that's my this is my fourth or fifth hookup and I haven't been able to get them up on the bank yet. Oh, really? Yeah. And I was like, I'm never getting this one. But I might get wet for this one. Yeah, you got the mustard. Yep. No, they're uh, they're not. I'm not even sure my net can handle a fish of this size. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> oh, what a circus! What a circus! That is a nice fish, though. I'm gonna. Uh, you know, not too often. This time of year, I come out quite a bit when it's 
not quite safe enough to be on the ice. <laughs> oh, lost it. Pop the hook. Oh no. There it is though. I knew I was never getting that fish up here. Whew. That was a nice fish. That was a real nice fish. Well, dog, we can hook them, but we cannot land them. I had my three weight out there last year, and I caught a few of those big ones on it. And if it was an actual fish that could fight good, I'd have busted my rod. Oh, yeah. Here. Yeah, I was not expecting to catch a fish like that out here. <laughs> Hope you took a few pictures before you. I got it on my camera on my yeah, I got it on my go. camera on my chest so oh, you you'll at least see the video. <laughs> That's why I bring the video camera because I don't bring them all in. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was starting to be sad that oh, I missed that one. Almost done, and now yeah. We went up, we went up the Oh, are you running a sinking line with that? Yeah, so I've got a, my line itself is a floating, but I'm running a sink tip uh, leader. Oh, oh really? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So how, how far is your uh, leader, the sink tip? Uh, so my leader itself is um, about 10 feet, and then I'm running you know, about three-ish feet of tippet on top of that. So that's how you, that's, that's the same setup you do for your own nymphing? Uh, for the Euro nymphing, I actually run a different line. So I have an extra spool for this. Oh, did you get it? Nope. Ah, uh, I run an extra spool. So I actually have a, the Cortland Euro nymphing line for my fly line. And uh, so it doesn't sag quite as much and I feel the strike a little better. And uh, so I just, oh, missed a hook up there. Talking too much. Uh, so I just switched spools out. But you can't throw that Euro line no. at all, so. I've never, I've never tried that stuff. I've heard uh, it's quite the uh, good time to Euro nymph. Oh, it's my favorite, my I mean, favorite thing to do. A lot like Euro nymph and without the. Right, the indicator. Strike indicator. Yeah. Yeah. With really heavy flies. Right. Yeah. On blacksmith. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Shake it right there. He, he came up and he was looking right at it and I watched it swim past his mouth as he turned. That was a big fish. Oh, was it another one? Yeah, that was another one of those big old lunkers. <laughs> he didn't try to strike it, but he came up and looked yeah. at it and turned. They must be hanging. Obviously, you're getting everything within 10 feet, and that's what he's doing. Yeah, absolutely. There you go. <laughs> yeah, you need a longer nap. I know it. From here. From here, for sure. Oh, that was a nice one. That was another big one. Allison's calling. Let's see how long I'm gonna be. But the action's been pretty good. So it's hard to leave if I haven't landed one. You know what I mean? every once in a while you gotta make a sacrifice to the fish gods out here fish I think that was a snake or it was a huge fish and just felt like a log
Oh, I think that's it. That's the log. Well, in the end, oh, wait, I got it to move. Got it to move, got it to move, got it to move. <laughs> we're still in the game. <laughs> it was a big stick. I thought that one was going to cost me, uh, cost me my spot. I was going to have to walk out on that one. Still in the game. She looks like he was a man on a mission. Yeah, it is. Ooh, lost that one too. Get him to do that again. That was fun. There we go. <laughs> oh, we finally landed one. <laughs> and it spit the hook. We finally landed one. call this one fly challenge a success. Nice little rainbow. What's that? Yeah, I had a couple of hits, but, and they, they broke, but I finally got one to the bank. <laughs> Wasn't quite the same size as the others, but I was happy to finally land one. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I was not planning for these kind of fish. <laughs> oh, there's another one of those monsters. It's the only time you're disappointed to have a huge fish. <laughs> Man, that's lucky. Man, that's lucky. <laughs> oh, man. That is a big fish. That is a big fish right there. It's hard to scale this guy. It's 
a good sized fish. Happy to have that one. All right, buddy.